guys, I filmed that entire ceviche making part that I filmed last night with the improper mic settings. So I'm going to review it now because I fully filmed like 10 minutes of me talking about it while I was eating it last night and I can't use any of it because you can't hear me. So I'm gonna make it now and I'm gonna do a quick review for you. Oh, also, I wanted to share these new thought set and pants that I got. So I just can't get myself to pay whatever the heck the price is for the Our Place Caraway pans and pots and stuff. Like I know they're really nice and they're probably amazing, but there's so many dupes on Amazon. And I got like the pan that I usually cook with was like $30 on Amazon and I use that for everything. And it started to get kind of annoying because I would use it to make like three different things in one of the meals. So I'd have to like wash it and it just took too much time. So I finally got myself a new little set. Look at how cute. Like there's this one, this one, and this one. And maybe I'm a little late to the time. So the coolest part, you're able to store them easier because none of them have handles and you just do this. And it just latches on, like it doesn't come off. And it's just take it off, you just go like that. So. I'm so excited about these and I've been geeking out about them because you can put it into like the oven and not worry about the handle being like oven proof. Like look how easy, amazing. And I will drop the link in my description below for any of you guys that want to get this. It is life changing. All right, let's make the ceviche. I have been in such a weird funk and I've kind of been, I've been elaborating on it for the past few videos of just being in this like, space of wanting to not socialize. I don't know if it's because of the wedding last year, of just like my social battery is completely depleted and I've never felt like this in my entire life. And as I was like talking about it with my therapist and stuff, I felt like I kept trying to figure out what was wrong with me, but I realized that I'm just changing, I'm getting older. I did have an extremely stressful year last year went through a lot of friendship breakups, went through a lot of like just changes internally of just like reflection and things that I've learned through therapy. Um, and all of it just became kind of a lot. And I think instead of like trying to diagnose the issue of thinking like something's wrong, I don't want to socialize. I've just learned to kind of embrace it and enjoy it. Being a bit introverted saves you so much money. It saves you so much energy. Uh, and I am just still kind of getting used to it. I don't know if it's just a phase or if this is just kind of who I'm growing into, but it's just been so nice. The only thing that's really hard is like, I live with this guilt of, you know, when friends reach out to me to hang out and stuff, I feel like I'm not there for them in the ways that I have been my entire life. But also I've always overextended myself in all of my friendships and relationships that 
you know, it catches up to you at some point. So I think that that's just what it is right now. I feel good. I feel happy. It's been so rewarding and it's been healthy, I feel like. So yeah, anyways, let's eat. So the best part about the ceviche is that it's so like fresh and all of the ingredients, I mean, maybe that's all ceviche, that everything is just like fresh and simple, but it's so good at everything. There's like the perfect amount of crunch. I would probably put in less of the red pepper to make sure I can keep in the habanero because I feel like the habanero gives it a good flavor. This recipe is so good and I will definitely make it again. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy it's the weekend. I know I said I was in my introvert era and for the first time I feel like in months I am going to be socializing tomorrow and I've been mentally preparing myself. It's so weird, like feeling like it's so hard to socialize. I've never experienced this in my life. All right, what should we do? Let's bake cookies. I think I wanna bake cookies. So it is Saturday morning and I ended up not making cookies. I ended up not leaving the house. I ended up just watching TV through the rest of the night. So I am currently getting ready to head over to Moray's. We are filming our second episode of our podcast, which right now I think we're, we're just going with no name podcast because we just have no name for it right now um so if you guys have any suggestions just make sure to leave a comment down below for what our podcast name should be i'm so happy because it's actually clear blue skies out today and it's been forever since we've experienced that and it's just making me excited to go out but it is cold it's like 55 degrees outside right now i'm gonna get ready and then we shall head out this off and let this sit there for a sec. My hair is too thin and light for it to stay. Okay. Trust the process. Trust the process. Does anyone else do their makeup like this? It's like a whole process. <laughs> Kosas lip oil feels like aquaphor. It's like a nice little glass. All right, I think I'm done. Today's a half up, half down day. Yeah. Are you joking? It's so nice. back from brainstorming and eating lunch and getting coffee and we are going to film our podcast right here today so pretty cool more has actually a recording studio in her apartment complex what? and i'm oh, sorry <laughs> um and that's where we filmed our last one but it is booked today so we decided to just film it at her place today pickles do you want to wear this one or do you want to wear the other one
just got back from Panda Inn and it's still kind of early and I feel like I'm coming down with something. I'm starting to get like body aches and chills and I feel very lethargic. I feel like I'm getting sick. So I am going to make some porridge, Vietnamese style porridge that my dad used to make growing up. So we went to the grocery store and just got some stuff to make that, but so weird. It's April in the past two years, I went to Coachella every year. So it's just a different change of pace in this time of year. I just remember the last couple years and like March and April, I was scrambling to try to find like outfits and Christian and I decided to not go this year and I am so happy. I There was a part of me that was like, oh, I'm gonna have FOMO and I feel like I'm gonna regret not going. But the second that that lineup was released, I was so happy. I am thankful that I saved a few thousand dollars and I am not going to Coachella this year. So anyways, I'm gonna go and make some porridge and I guess I'll show you guys. I've been doing a lot of cooking lately and it's been super fun. So let's go make it. Life without Maggie, I don't know how you do it. It's my lifeline and will be fully responsible for my heart clogs in the future. Mmm. <laughs> it's super good, very light, and it tastes so good when you're sick. All right, well, I think I'm gonna end this video here. It's been a fun, long weekend, and I need to just rest because I'm starting to feel sick. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and sticking around. If you've made it this far, just don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you guys and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.